concept of the seal of prophets the concept of seal of prophethood is explained in surah al ahzab allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ma kana muhammadun aba ahadin mir rijalikum walakin walakin rasul allah wa khatam an nabiyyin wa kana allah bi kulli shay'in alima Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not the father of any one of you men but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets of Allah Allah is indeed Allah is indeed all knowing of everything so here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as the seal of prophethood And similarly, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself also said, "La nabi baghdi wa la ummatan baghdi kum." There will be no prophet or no messenger after me, and there will be no followers of any prophet after you. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is called as Khatimul Mursalin, Khatimun Nabiyin. Neither will there be any nabi, nor there will be any rasul after Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. no prophet no messenger no revelation and that is what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-maida al-yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa radditu lakum al-islam ad-deena these verses were like one of the last verses which were revealed on the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam during his sermon of uh, the farewell hajj he performed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he clearly announced in one of these last verses which were revealed to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that today i have perfected and completed for you your religion and i have completed my blessings or bounties on you and i have chosen islam as a religion for you so now i repeat no prophets no messengers no books no revelation what will be the essential implications of believing the concept of seal of prophets the first implication when we when we accept the concept of the seal of prophethood the first concept would be to very clearly understand to understand in black and white then anyone who even if he believes in the prophethood of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that anyone despite believing in the prophethood of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if he believes in any other person after him as a prophet or a messenger then his belief or faith in prophethood is not correct it is not perfect and so he is not a believer any person believing any other person other than prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and after prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as being a prophet or as being a messenger of allah will not be a believer will not be a muslim and he would not he should not be expecting salvation on the day of resurrection the second implication of this concept of seal of prophethood is very important for all of us to understand from this we have very clearly understand understood that there will be no messenger or prophet of allah now coming to spread the message and the words of allah so now who will be doing all this this is what we need to realize this is what we actually need to realize from the depth of our hearts that this duty we need to realize this duty with with intense commitment that this is now the duty of the followers of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to spread the message of allah to his bondsmen since no prophet is going to come no no messenger is going to come and they are not going to spread the teaching so it is for the followers of the last prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam us kuntum khaira ummatin it is for us to very very intensely feel this responsibility that it is for us to spread the teachings of quran and sunnah 
and spread the teachings of Quran and Sunnah to whom, where, till which limit? You know what? Allah calls in the Quran, Ya ayyuhan nas. Allah does not just call in the Quran the believers, the followers of Prophet Sallallahu No. The call of Allah, the invite of the Quran is to Ya ayyuhan nas, O people of the world. So this is our duty to spread to all the people of the world the teachings of Quran and Hadith. What an immense task. What an immense task and a huge, huge commitment has to be accomplished. Do we ever realize this? Do we ever think? Do we ever bother? Do we ever concentrate on this? The callosity of our duty as a Muslim or as a believer? Now, if thinking all this, let's just analyze the actual state of affairs. Just look around ourselves. Statistically try to analyze a few questions which I would be giving you to analyze and look around yourselves. How many people around you? How many people around you amongst the Muslims recite Quran? How many people around us they read hadith? How many people who are reading Quran are actually understanding? understanding and comprehending the meaning of Quran. What percentage, what percentage of people around us has gone through the message, the complete message of Quran? Believe you me, very sadly and very pathetically, you would realize that not even 2%, 2% of the literate, educated class of the Muslims of today are doing or they have done what I have talked about. So do we realize the callosity of the job that has to be completed before we depart? And do we know what period is left for us before we depart for us to complete this job, to complete this task? Life is uncertain and the task is so immense. What are we doing? Where are we spending our time, our money, our capacities, our potentials? We have all the time in the world. We have all the time in the world to go around the shopping malls just doing winter shopping. People of today, Muslims of today, they have all the time in the world to get bored. Really getting bored? With so much to be done. Allah, help us set bigger targets, set bigger goals, look at bigger aims to achieve in our life. And Allah, help us feel the callosity of the job and the duty we are supposed and expected to perform before we depart. And the third concept which after believing the seal of prophethood is that we all need to be clear that since no prophet, no messenger, no revelation, no order and commandments of Allah brought by Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam now. So very clearly no saint, no scholar, no religious leader can claim now to have the right to alter, to abrogate the final verdicts, the perfected commandments of Allah. No one can annul or alter the laws or the orders of Quran and Sunnah because there is a seal of prophethood now. 